I talk often about the difference between tipping and translation and favoring tipping movements with aligners for various reasons. And one of them is predictability and actually relating to the diagnosis in a case like I'm going to show you right now. Here we have a class one on the left side and we have a class two end on on the right side. And as you would expect, the lower midline is deviated to the right. And so in this ClinCheck, you'll see that there is um, no mandibular jump planned here. And I can add that. There's a bolt-in discrepancy of the upper arch because you can see the lateral incisors. So I did leave some space around that. And I have to advance the mandible to get into a solid class one on the right side. But as you see, there's not a lot of overjet. And if you look at the way the upper teeth are moving, you can see that they are upright and they need to come forward, but watch how they are being moved. They're being moved in pure translation. In fact, it almost looks like for some reason there's actually buccal root torque. And if you look at it in this view, if you look at the gingival margin, let's kind of put it this way, where you just barely see the gingival margin. And when you advance these teeth, you still see that gingival margin. That is not how teeth want to move. Even if it was braces, that's not how they want to move. And so you're basing your treatment plan on this, and it looks like you have not insufficient overjet to advance the mandible. So remember this, here's my overjet and very slight overjet. I'd like more overjet, but I don't want to open up more space around those lateral incisors. So the modification I'm going to, I'm going to make on this that I think will give me more overjet so happens to also be moving these teeth the way they really want to move. And that is with less root torque. So what I do is I just bring the roots back kind of towards where they were. And we're going to find out if this does give me more overjet. I just manually do this. I, I suppose you can instruct the technician. And then what I do, once I brought the roots back, is then I bring the crown more forward. So I've created more of a tipping movement. Okay, now if you look at the difference, an orthodontist will recognize that you can see a lot of the facial surface on the upper right one, and now you see less of it. You definitely see a tipping movement. And now I have a lot more overjet. Now I know there's some spaces in there, and I can actually, uh, well, let's make that one. I can get rid of this space. That's not going to change much. Put this back to one. All right. Now look at all the overjet I have. And the adjustment I made was actually making the case more predictable, more like the way teeth really move. These are the little things that can really make a big difference in your diagnosis. If you're looking at teeth on a computer that are being moved, not the way they move in the mouth. And that's what an experienced practitioner and an experienced orthodontist is going to lend to a case.